the stimulus Senator, yes. Senator, assuming that your party, the majority party, believes that this legislation, the actual legislation, not the amendment, needs to be in place before this governor leaves office, you either have to do that this week or do it in some sort of special session. Is there an expectation that you can actually make the legislation itself happen this week? I, I don't have an answer to that. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm here as the chairman of the committee. Uh, we're going to keep the thing going as long as somebody says there's time. And uh, I don't know the support, but uh, I think it's a great issue. People understand that the photo ID is the gold standard. you got to have it to rent a video or get on an airplane. Why shouldn't you have it to get uh, to go to vote? It's, it's a, simple, a simple solution. Are you working to the that you amended the, the photo ID requirement into that bill in the second bill yeah. you voted out? Not the SCR, but the bill. Um, that's a possibility to do an amendment on that bill. On the floor. On the floor. What do you do today? Uh, we just didn't. I don't. I don't even know if there's support to do it from the caucus. So this was just a ve to get a vehicle in place in case there's a decision to do it. What about the complaints that there are a number of people who, for a number of different reasons, cannot get the documentation that Missouri requires in order to get the photo ID? Well, I, I think uh, the discussion in the 2006 bill shows the exemptions that we put in uh, for those people and uh, to, to let them vote a provisional ballot, a full provisional ballot, let them vote like anybody else and have the opportunity to vote. Senator, two, two years ago, if I remember correctly, you moved the PQ motion on this issue. Are you prepared to do that again in 2008 in these last few days? I think that's up to the caucus. Uh, it's, a, it's a question. We'll have to have that discussion. This has not been on our radar scheme, screen. The, uh, the House moved the HJR last week, so it, it is before us at this point, and the decision will have to be made. That's, that is not my decision, and we'll just have to see how the caucus uh, feels. A number of personal some feelings. Do you think there should be a PQ motion on this? I would like to get it worked out without a PQ motion. What actually happens here is the, the political folks on both sides drives everybody to a corner. We worked really good with the uh, Senate Democrats two years ago in crafting a piece of legislation that they could live with, and they worked with us, put a lot of good ideas into the bill that was passed two years ago. Will you offer enabling legislation on the floor this week? That's a we passed out a vehicle today that makes that a possibility. Will I do that? I, I don't know. I frankly can't tell you. We've got to judge the support in the caucus to see if there's support to do that or not. Uh, I hope that there is. I think it's a great idea. Would you assume any such legislation would be substantially the language which was approved by this legislature two years ago? I, I think that was a very workable piece of legislation with the exception of requiring the state to pay for the supporting documents to get a non-driver photo. There was the, they're, they're assuming that they can't move this at all now unless they pay for absolutely everything. If they pay for everything for everybody, does that neutralize your argument? The real key here is that eligible voters and eligible Missourians are allowed to vote, and we don't put burdens and obstacles in the way. So it's not just about paying for things, it's about making sure until any of any of the folks have these IDs that they're not disenfranchised. That's the important factor here, is whether eligible citizens are able to vote. It isn't the obstacle primarily. Expense. Well, it's also expense and time, you know. We had a lady who talked about her inability to get an ID out of the state of Mississippi. Is that somebody because the state of Mississippi, that bureaucracy in Mississippi can't produce a birth certificate for her, that she therefore, at any cost, they can't produce it, uh, should she not be allowed to vote? So I think there are some other obstacles besides cost that we just need to talk about. The is, is there any way that a requirement that a voter has to show up at the voting polling place with a photo ID. Is there any way that could be worded that would be acceptable to you? Look, I think one of the important things for y'all to understand is this isn't a debate about voter IDs. We already have voter IDs. There's no debate about that topic. I'm in favor of a voter ID. It's common sense. Everyone should produce that. What's talked about here is that if you don't have a driver's license, the stack of paper that you have to present to be able to vote. That's what we're talking about here, and I think we shouldn't create a new class of citizens that has to have a stack of papers in order to vote. The argument goes that we have to use photo IDs at a lot of other places, sometimes cashing checks, uh, renting videos has been an example that's been used. So why not a photo ID when we go vote? Well, you know, I can, 
I can talk to you about what's in our Constitution and how our government is set up. And the government is set up that it's, it's there because of the consent of the governed. That we have a voice in our government. It doesn't talk about renting videos and it doesn't talk about getting on airplanes. It talks about the fundamental right to vote. And that's different, Bob. It's not the same as renting a video and so we ought to recognize that. Obviously people need to identify themselves. They already do that. And we haven't seen any instances of fraud. So it is confounding to me to think that if we risk the voting rights of 240,000 Missourians for no instances of fraud. And that's what we need to be focused on here. We have a reasonable requirement. Let's just keep pushing that. I feel like this is sort of partisan gamesmanship. You can't really have an election law change unless you have bipartisan agreement if you think people are going to expect that it's fair. Right now, when you have one side that says they think it's necessary and the other side doesn't, it feels like politics, and I think voters don't like that.